Well, they're finally here. It's almost seven o'clock at night. I'm hoping the best for these guys. They've been in a truck in 80 degree weather for quite some time. Usually they're here right away in the morning. I don't know if he's looking for the box or what the heck, I haven't seen him. Wish they would drive that fast when they were coming. Hey, what's happening? So today, uh, it's been a long day. I ordered these here. They, they shipped them out yesterday. Uh, we're looking at, well, it's going on about uh, 7.30 at night. So, I mean, these guys have been in the truck for a while. I don't want to uh, prolong this any longer than I have to. I want to see uh, what they look like inside there. They've been in there for, well, been well over a day since they left. Uh, we had a little warmer weather here today than I think they were expecting. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's what they packed them in. We're going to get into that. Uh, these come from uh, Orchard Reef, uh, Orchard Reef Corals. Uh, I've said many a times uh, on my other videos when you see my unboxing, this is one of my favorite uh, places to get corals from. Uh, I really, to be honest with you, they have a pretty good selection, but their prices are so low that they're usually sold out. So it's good and bad. I mean, you can you can get some good corals, and you can get them at a fair price and get them shipped right to your door, just like I'm doing here. But you got to be watching that site. I'm going to put a link down below uh, for their site. Uh, so you can check them out. Uh, like I always say, uh, you know, I'm not being paid by them. It's just a company that I really, uh, really enjoy uh, getting corals from just because of the price. Like this, this right here, what I ordered is a 10 pack of Zoas, uh, $99 shipping included. Uh, the ad said that they were going to all be, uh, all 10 would be different uh, styles. We'll find out when we open it up, but uh, you know, can you go wrong? Free shipping, 10 Zoas. I don't know. I, I don't know where else you're going to make that deal. Uh, yeah, so it, it, let me, we'll get into this here. I'll get the, well, actually, you know what? I got a knife right here. We can get right after it. So let's just take a look and see what we got in this box. As always, they got their instructions, uh, recommendations. Uh, got their website and their email support for any problems. I don't know if you guys can just kind of give you an idea of what their logo is. They give you this little spreadsheet with some uh, live guarantee, you know, what to do if it's not. Here's the, like I said, you can see right there, Zoanthid uh, 10 pack, free shipping, $99. Uh, I mean, I don't know, can, can you beat that? I guess you'll have to tell me. But, anyways, let's get into the box here and see exactly what we got going on. As with most orders I've done, they always, they always have it shipped. Uh, generally, this appears to be a heat pack, so that's that's good or bad sign, I guess, because uh, I was more concerned about the heat, thinking that they were going to get too hot, you know, being in the back of the truck all day, but if they put a heat pad in, they must have been worried more about the cold. So, they got a little cushion here. Alright, so then... Here's how they, I'm going to actually bring it over to the camera so you can see. So here's, here's how they pack them. Let me see if I can tilt that down. See how they got them all stacked up nice? Looks like I got, uh, look at this. 
They sent me a free gift. A devil's armor and a dragon eyes, Zoa. Free. So I ordered 10. Looks like I'm going to get 12. You, you definitely can't beat that. Or maybe it was just one free one. Maybe this is one of them and this other one's a free one. So maybe it would be 11. Either way, you know, you can't beat that. So you got uh, uh, devil's armor here, a dragon's eyes. There's really no way to see in this package. I'm going to get them out here. I got a different setup I'm going to show you. This would be the Lord of the Rings. Okay, so like they said, we're, we're talking three different kinds right there. Here we have Yellow Submarine. And this other one. You know what? I'm going to have to open it up to read it. It's all... I think it says Ocean Greens. Ocean Greens. So there, they're different. Then we have uh, Cat's Eyes. Peaches. There we got the, the Sunbursts. Blue Daisies. So every one so far. And they're different than the ones I have in my tank as well. So here's the, this one is the Circus. And this one's the Speckled Eagle Eyes. So as you can see, uh, I'll get these open here and I'm going to be doing a, a dip as I always do. Uh, so we'll get that part done. I don't know. I'm not going to probably put you through that. I might show a little bit of it here. You know, I had somebody in the last video because I did one video with that. And then the other ones, I, I just kind of said I'm doing it, but I didn't video it. I had a few comments saying they wish I'd have showed part of it. So I might uh, show you the process here. Uh, otherwise, let me get into that. Uh, I do want to show you here one other thing. I'm going to move the camera here a little unsteady. I apologize. Here's that homemade frag rack that I... Hopefully I'll have that video out before we get to this part. But I made this homemade frag rack. Just put a power head in there. I'm going to put that free light that I got from Fluval on top of there. And I'm going to just probably try the whole quarantine of the coral thing. I know I've said, you know... It's mixed messages. I know I said that I don't do that, but I'm going to try it here, I think, and then hopefully I can get some good pictures of the ones here when they open up for this video right in here before I actually put them you know, in the tank, that kind of thing. You can see them better. It's going to be quite a good variety. I, I decided that I really like these uh, Zoas and to have them in my tank and have them cover the rocks with all the different colored eyes, I think it's going to be pretty spectacular. But anyways, I won't, uh, let's, let me let you go here and I'll get into the, uh, dipping part of it. All right. So what you see here is, uh, my three, three dip method here that I use. Uh, I'm going to be taking this, uh, basically it calls for 20 drops per gallon. Well, what I got here is actually a half a gallon. So I'll put 10 in. One extra. I did 11. 11 drops. Okay, so that's where I'm going to be dipping them in. This is my first rinse. So I'll dip them in here, leave them for, well, I think it said uh, recommend for Zoas 15 min uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Actually, 8 to 11 minutes. So I'll probably go on the long side for the eight, uh, 11 minutes. Then I'll put them in here for the first rinse. I'll slosh them around, make sure I got the majority of that off. Then I got the third rinse over here where I put them in before I'll put them into the little frag tank. And then uh, that'll be the process I use. All right, so this is just a quick shot of what's gonna happen here. I know some people wanted to see it the last time. I was gonna show you first off, I wanna make sure I can get this in the picture. When they come, they ship them in these little 
basically it's just a little cup everyone has its own little cup but see how they poke it through the bottom so that the actual coral is inside the cup when it's inside the bag so it's not being rubbed and beat around then you just gotta you know you pop it out and then there you have it I just put them over here for in the clean side this is actually not clean water this is the water that come in the, the corals actually came in this water. I'm going to dump this out, but I, I want to have them in here all at the same time. Uh, so I wanted to, you know, get you a, so you could see that. All right, so I had to adjust the camera a little bit there, make sure that uh, my head wasn't cut off. I have a bad habit of that. I do apologize if, if that's what's happening. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, so, basically, like I said, this is the wastewater. I'm going to put these all right in here. Now, I would recommend, actually, when handling any corals, to wear gloves. But uh, specifically, I would recommend it when you're handling zoas. Uh, just because they, I don't, not all of them, I don't believe. I might be wrong on that. But the majority of them uh, are toxic and so we don't want uh, you know you don't want that to I had a this is a circus circus didn't like being on the plug there's another chunk here I'm going to have to just spot glue him back on he fell off the plug but now I'm just going to set the timer uh, for 10 uh, well actually for 11 minutes And then when I'm 11 minutes is up, then I'm going to take and I'm going to put them in here and rinse them. And then, well, actually not in here. I mean, this is getting thrown away, okay? I'm going to put them in here and rinse them. And then I'll have clean, I'll get rid of this water and I'll put clean water in it. And then I'll do a second rinse before I put them in. Throw this part in here too, you know, just uh, basically all I did. I took a different frag plug actually. I squirt already I had the gloves, so I, I already squirted some on here, some glue. I'm just gonna pop this uh like I said you don't want to handle the Zoas if you don't have to, so I'm just gonna drop him right there in the glue. Try to get the little ends up. There, I got some glue on my tongs, but see I just took and I, you can see I just put a little glue on there. I'm actually going to throw this uh, back in the water. We're in here now, the timer's off. Uh, it's been the 11 minutes. I'm just basically moving them from here into the first rinse. So then... Basically, you have them in the first rinse here. Uh, we're going to just take each one. I'll give each one a good shake. Make sure there's nothing, anything that needs to come off. Make sure that once that's done, then I'm going to just move them over to this final rinse, which I do have clean water in now, you can see. Uh, once I do that, then I will take them over to the tank. Just thought I'd throw this in there. You can see this is the water that I did the coral dip in. Uh, it's just everything you see there, nothing. Nothing come off them. I mean, they were pretty clean. That's another reason why I like this Orchard Reef uh, corals. I, I dip their corals, but every time I do it, I expect to find some kind of hitchhiker, and I never do. All right, so... Now that they've been all thoroughly rinsed, I'm going to move them over to here. Just going to pop them in. All 
All right, so here's the Zoas uh, the next morning. Just turn the lights on. Not all of them are open yet. I'm going to leave them here for a little bit. Hopefully they all open today. When I come home, I'll get another picture. Hopefully they get a little color to them. All right, so here's one of them. I'm just going to kind of give you a quick run of each one here. It's uh, close and up, up close here while they're open. That's one of the reasons why I had this little frag tank. Uh, you know, that would be... Give you kind of a size. They really look nice. Here's a close up of one more of them. I I apologize. I took these out of the bags. They were closed. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little research. I'm not sure what they're each called. Um, now that they're actually opening up, they are really, really good. Here's another one. Um, I'm gonna have to get better at this whole name thing. These Zoa's got some crazy names. I guess I just always like the look of them, but I don't really. I'm not good at naming them. Let's try to give you a little bit of a. So here's another one. I'm just gonna kind of make a little bit of each one of them for you. I gotta say, when these get into my tank and they get under, uh, you know, the correct light for a little while, get comfortable, uh, they're gonna really, they're gonna really pop. I think what I like best about Zoas is their wide range of color and their fast growth. I do really believe these are one of the probably the easiest corals you can get your hands on and cheapest here if you get them, if you get them from here. I mean, this is what you get for a hundred bucks. It's not, this one I do know the name just because this is the one I glued on and you can see the glue mess I got on there. Hopefully they can recover from that. Looks like there's a couple of polyps that will. This is the circus. You got to kind of appreciate how these, uh, you know, there's three, four polyps on each one. Uh, they look pretty spectacular, really. I mean, I for what they're, you know, fragged on here. This one hasn't fully got comfortable enough to completely open up, but uh, I wanted to add them in here. I just, they got some spectacular colors to them. When I, when they start growing in my tank, it's, it's going to be fantastic. This one hasn't uh, fully opened up yet. The one in the middle there is also day two, just first starting to come around a little bit. And day two on this one as well, he's coming around. Trying to get a good picture for you guys to see what these all look like under the blue light. Not all of them are completely open, but you can tell the ones that are. There's some pretty fantastic zoas. I'll just add this quick shot here with a little bit more white light in it. Pick up a few of the ones that weren't showing. I'm going to try to get a little bit of different angles, different distances. This is why these are some of my all-time favorite corals. I just love the colors, and when they grow in over that rock, it's going to be just breathtaking.
All right, so here's a close up. Now these are just some of the colors that are popping through here. Unfortunately that one's closed. I wish it was open. It's really a nice one. Look at all the little polyps on that. Well, all right, <clears throat> so that was a pretty good unboxing. Uh, it's uh, orchardreef.com if you're interested where I got them. Uh, they got really good prices, pretty good selection. Uh, like I said earlier, they do sell out uh, on a lot of them fairly rapidly, it seems like. I'll go on there and I'll see what I want. I'll kind of wait till there's another one so I can order them in a group, and when I go back, the original one I want is gone. So, uh, you got to keep an eye on it uh, when you get a pack like this though uh, shipping's free I mean you can't you can't really beat it I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I tried to get uh, some better pictures you know of the corals uh, so you could actually see what I'm doing in the tank I'm gonna you know be doing a follow-up video to this down the road uh, to you know to, to see so you can see the growth uh, see where things are at see if uh, you know if, if stuff's growing and turning out hopefully everything works out good it all looks good so far uh, as always like comment subscribe uh, you know any questions put them below I'll, like I said I'll probably have a link to these guys below if you're interested uh, you know below the video I, I always put links to things below the video as well I say I always do and then I get lazy and I don't I, I have been trying to go back in on the videos and add links to things so if you ever are looking for something, you know, check back for sure, because I, I will try to put them in there. It's, it's kind of tedious work. Uh, but uh, like I said, uh, until next time.